integrate the natural log of x from 0 to 1. This is from one of the qualifying exams for the MIT Integration B solution. So this is actually uh, an improper integral because the natural log of 0 uh, does not make any sense, right? Because if you think about the graph of the natural log of x, it has a vertical asymptote at 0, like this. This red dotted line is the vertical asymptote. And it passes through 1, like this. And that's the graph of y equals uh, ln x. So the natural log of 1 is 0, but the natural log of 0 is undefined. So whenever you have something like this, you rewrite it. This is equal to the limit. Okay, As b approaches 0, and we're going to fix that in a minute, and you replace the 0 with the letter, and then you have ln x and dx. And you have to figure out which way uh, it's approaching 0 from. So what I always do is I draw a little picture. Here's 0, here's 1, and then here's b. Oh, yeah, OK, b is approaching 0 from the right. That's how I always do it. Um, you, so basically, you replace this with the letter, and b approaches that letter, right? And then when you draw your picture, um, it, it, the picture will tell you which way. So you see, to get to 0, you have to come from the right. So boom, that's what the plus sign means. All right, so let's go ahead and just maybe integrate ln x, and then um, we'll deal with, with all of this. Oh, let's just do it all at once. Why not? So we have limit, b approaches 0. And we're going from b to 1, ln x dx. All right, so to do this, to integrate this, um, you use integration by parts. Um, so what you do is you let u equal ln x. It's a famous integral. And uh, dv is what's left over. It's dx. So then du is 1 over x dx. Then integrating both sides here, you would just get v equals x. And the integration by parts formula says if you have u dv, that's equal to the integral of u dv. It's equal to uv minus the integral of v du. Right? So that's the parts, parts formula. I forgot to write it down. I've done this integral a lot, the ln x. It's a really famous one, right? Classic integral uh, and that you learn in a math class. So the formula says it's uv. So it's going to be, let me put the limit sign, limit, b approaches 0. So it's uv. So it's going to be x ln x. I'll put a, a line here. And we're going from b to 1 minus the integral of v du. And so when you do that, the x is cancel because it's x times 1 over x. So it's b to the 1, b to 1, and then dx. And I'll put a bracket here. And we have that limit outside of this of this uh, beast. All right. So this is equal to limit. b approaches 0 from the right. So you plug in the 1 first. So you get uh, 1 times the natural log of 1, which is just 0. Natural log of 1 is 0 minus b times the natural log of b, okay? Minus, and then we're integrating this here, okay? So it's going to be um, x, and we're going from b to 1. Parentheses, parentheses, let's keep going. So this is equal to limit as b approaches 0 from the right. Natural log of 1 is 0, so this is 0. We have minus b times the natural log of b, okay, minus, and then you plug in a 1 first here, right? So you get 1. I left, I left the negative out. Plug in the 1, so you get 1. You subtract, you put a b, okay? Parentheses, parentheses. Let's keep going. This is the limit. As b approaches 0 from the right, let's see what happens here. I actually don't know what's going to happen. So this is negative b, ln b. I haven't done this problem yet. And I'm just doing it one step at a time. So negative 1, right, plus b. Huh, OK. All right, let's keep going. So this is equal to the limit as b approaches 0 from the right. So we have the negative 1 here, right? And then we have, um, I'm going to put the b first, plus b minus b ln b. OK, so this is equal to, I'm going to pull out a b and see, and then, and then think about it. So this is limit b approaches 0 from the right, negative 1 plus, and then I'll pull out a b, so b, and then 1 minus natural log of b. Alrighty. So, 
this part here is okay, it's negative one. The only issue here is is this other limit here, the limit uh, as b approaches zero from the right of b times one minus ln b. Okay, so this is kind of a funky limit because this is zero, right? And then this piece here, this this ln b, um, if you think about the natural log of b, right, as b approaches zero from the right, the natural log of b goes down forever, it approaches negative infinity. So then you have a negative here, so this is infinity. So this is like a zero times infinity uh, in determinate form, right? So here's what I'm thinking. We can write this in a clever way, like this. We can think of this as the limit as b approaches zero from the right of one minus l and b. And watch this, let's write the bottom as one over b. Boom, same exact thing, right? Because when you divide, you multiply by the reciprocal, right? So dividing by one over b is the same thing as multiplying by b. And then now, on the bottom, you have one over b, right? And so when b gets really, really small, this fraction gets really, 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 really big. So now we have an infinity over infinity form, right? So we can use L'Hopital's rule. So using L'Hopital's rule, that means you take the derivative of each piece, right? So upstairs, when you take the derivative, you just get, you just get negative one over b, on the bottom, when you take the derivative, I have this derivative memorized. It's negative one over b squared, right? You just bring it upstairs like this, and then boom, use the power rule. So that gives you that. So this is equal to the limit as b approaches zero from the right. This is when negative one over b times negative b squared over one, right? Division is multiplication by the reciprocal. Oh, this is awesome. This is the limit as b approaches zero from the right of b. And so that's equal to zero. So I did that kind of quick. Um, but yeah, so this piece here approaches zero. Wow. So you just get negative one plus zero, so you get negative one. Wow, that was hard. This was a little bit harder uh, than I expected. Uh, I didn't think when I saw this problem that I would have to encounter this. You know, I, I'm, I'm doing the problem now as I'm making the video. And when I got here, I thought, uh-oh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we got to get an answer here, right? So what do we do? And when, so whenever you have zero times infinity, try to write it in a way um, that allows you to use L'Hopital's, right? You can use L'Hopital's if it's zero over zero or infinity over infinity. So pretty sneaky stuff. This is from, again, one of the qualifying exams for the uh, MIT integration B. Wow, it took almost eight minutes. So that's it.